Hello everybody, my name is Rahul and welcome to the Linux Privilege Escalation Bootcamp where we'll be learning how you can escalate your privileges in a Linux based environment. So first of all, let's start off with the low hanging fruits. Let's just type in lsalps etc shadow file. Now what is this etc shadow file? So if you are a complete newbie, you'll see or you'll learn later that etc shadow file contains the username followed by the user hashes. So before this, it used to be in the etc password file, but it got shifted to the etc shadow file now. Now in a normal scenario, what you'll see that you'll have read, write, read and no access right here. But here, since it has been purposely in configured, you'll see that you have read and the write access. Now just, let's just start off with exploiting the read access first. So cat etc shadow. You'll see that I get the user ha username along with the user hash. Now this is the root users hash now which part is there is the hash and which part is of no use to you so you'll see that anything between two consecutive colons will be the user hash so here this is the first colon and this is the second colon so let's just copy it right from here and now that i've copied it what i can do is i can take them offline and try to brute force it using a word list and with the help of tools like john the ripper or hashcat so I'll be using John the Ripper here for your convenience. I have actually done it and to save time, let's see what I did here was I made a file called hash.txt, which is na by the use of nano editor. Now let's cut it things out. You'll see that this is the exact same hash that we copied and you'll see that I have used John followed by the name of the file that contains our hash and the word list here used is rocky.txt. So once I pressed enter, you'll see that the hash, which is which can which is is password one two three the hash type is sha five one two crypt which is generally the type of hash hashing algorithm used by linux based environments so you'll see that the password is password one two three so thank you guys this is for the video